In a theatrical demonstration earlier this year, Barnaby Jack, director of research at IOActive Labs, showed how he could take control of an ATM and, among other things, make it spit out money. Here, Jack explains why and how he performed the stunt. When you think of ATM security, you typically think about uh, like physical security, right? Is the ATM bolted down properly? Are the cameras in place? You don't typically think about the actual underlying software on the ATM. So I figured it was about, uh, about right time that someone actually pulled these things apart, looked at the software and see if there's any vulnerabilities there. And once I actually tore the lid off and found out how many vulnerabilities actually exist there, it was, um, it was quite shocking in a way. Jack used his discoveries to design two different attacks against standalone ATMs. Here he demonstrates them. The first attack is a walk-up style attack. Now, all of these standalone ATMs, they, uh, they ship with a master key. So, this master key will open the top compartment which allows access to the motherboard. It won't uh, open the safe or anything like that. But this one key will open all the ATMs from that same manufacturer. Now, now that you have access to the motherboard, you can now update the software locally. So long as that software adheres to the correct format, the ATM will happily override its software with this new code. Now, of course, this new code uh, will allow you to dump from the entire dispenser and do other nefarious deeds. Mm -hmm. And the other attack is the uh, remote attack. Now, all of these standalone ATMs, uh, they support remote management or remote configuration. So you can log into your ATM, uh, change the splash screens, retrieve the settings, and all that type of thing. Um, generally, to be able to do this, you require a combination of passwords, a serial number, and what have you. I found a vulnerability which will allow me to bypass all of these passwords and then upload my own software onto the ATM remotely. And of course, uh, my own software will capture credit card details, dump from the dispenser, and all that type of thing. And uh, the worst part about this is these ATMs ship with this functionality enabled by default. And the reason they enable this functionality is so they can, uh, is ironically enough, so they can ship security patches to these ATMs. It takes a specialized skill set to actually come up with these attacks. And for myself, it was about eight months of fairly constant work. Uh, but I'm not naive enough to think that I'm the only person who could do this. And the thing is, uh, with these type of attacks, it only takes one person to come up with that attack, and then they can distribute that software to to whoever else, so it only takes one person to do it. Uh, to this, at the moment, we haven't seen uh, any of these exploits replicated, but um, uh, it's certainly possible. At the moment, the ATM manufacturers have shipped patches to their ATMs, but of course, whether the actual ATM owners have applied those patches is a different story.